Gesundheit. Or as they say in Switzerland, Gesundheit. <laughs> Getting a cold? No, no, it's probably just allergies. Do you want an allergy pill? Because I have them all. Prescription, non-prescription, foreign, domestic, experimental. Do any of them work? Not really. I'm just an enthusiast. <laughs> Okay? Does that sound okay to you? <laughs> Do not come in here! What's going on? I'm having a tea party. What do you think's going on? <laughs> I think I might have the flu. <gasps> or the plague. Well, our plane leaves at 9 a.m. Do you think you'll feel better by then? What <laughs> the hell? What's the matter? I have pain radiating from my navel to my lower right abdomen. I'm nauseated and feverish. I believe I may have cholera. There's no cholera in Pasadena. Just like last summer when there was no malaria in Pasadena. Well, if it's not cholera, then based on a quick internet search, the other explanations in decreasing order of likelihood are Hirschsprung's disease, botulism, a 30-foot tapeworm, or accidental ingestion of chrysanthemum blossoms. When would you have accidentally eaten chrysanthemum blossoms? It's part of an unlikely scenario that involves sleepwalking in a 24-hour flower mart with a less-than-vigilant proprietor. <laughs> my belly. Have I had your appendix out? I haven't. I've been meaning to, but who has the time? <laughs> uh, let's get you to the hospital. <sighs> so this is how it ends. <laughs> With cruel irony, just as I make the commitment to preserving my body, I am betrayed by my appendix, a vestigial organ. Do you know the original purpose of the appendix, Leonard? No. I do. And yet I'm doomed while you live on. <laughs> Funny how things worked out, isn't it? Oh, Lord, I think it's about to burst! <laughs> On the other hand, it might have been the Brussels sprouts. Good night. Good night. Appendicitis. What a nervous Nelly.